guys what's going on today we're going to be making a simple trigger system uh, for kind of like parkour games that if you fall off the platforms or if you miss one and it brings you back to the beginning uh, this is just going to be a basic one so a uh, quick tutorial today so I've set up this small little scene here and as you can see it's nothing pretty and uh, I'm actually going to drag that up a little bit more drag that up a bit more and then maybe drag that up a bit more and pull it across make it trickier for myself anyways so this is the simple little scene that I have set up here and I'm gonna right click the plane I'm gonna go to cube or treat the objects then cube and that's gonna put a cube right in the center and then with that cube we're gonna press uh, R on the keyboard which will bring up this uh, uh, stretch tool and we're going to stretch this out uh, like so and now we're going to use while it's like this we're going to actually set the height up when you fall off the platform so I think there should work and then also I'm going to make this uh, thin like so so I'm going to have to drag that back up so yeah that's pretty much that so once you have this uh, size that you want to be working with uh, you're going to want to come over here to the inspector and you're going to want to click is trigger on the box collider and then uh, on tick mesh renderer and then you're left with this green outline and now that's all you're going to want to do with that in the add component of that same cube so I'm actually going to call this cube uh, trigger on that component you're going to want to add component new script c sharp i'm going to call it restart uh trigger restart trigger uh, we're going to create an ad and restart trigger reload all okay and then as always get rid of the keys because i don't know why but uh, void start and then you're going to want to do uh, void on trigger enter and then in these brackets collider and other then underneath that like so and then you're going to come up here to the top and put using a uh, unity engine dot uh, scene management so that's going to allow us to create uh, to be able to reload this scene so uh, just above void start you're going to want to put a uh, private private uh, scene and then I'm just going to call it scene and basically this will be the start to get our scene and in the void start you're going to put scene equals uh, scene management seems to seems to be it so scene management dot get active scene and then just put these two brackets here at the end so what this is going to do this is going to get the scene that we're in and apply it to this value here so that's going to be helpful to reload the scene then here on the void trigger enter we're going to do if other dot game object dot tag equal equals equals and then put player then down here two squiggly brackets and then I'm going to put application dot uh, load level then in brackets scene dot name so to run through this really quick and th that's this is pretty much the whole script now and then you can add sounds to this and stuff um, but we'll go over sounds on a different time but if you know what to do uh, add them in yourself uh, so what um, this is just creating a private so it can't be edited in the inspector uh, so it's all done in the code and basically you could put this to public and then drag in a certain scene also if you want to create it to go to a new level or something like that um, or you could just do uh, load level and then the next level anyways uh, private scene then scene so this will allow us to apply the current scene which we do here to the value so this gets the scene that we're in puts it here 
and then on trigger enter collider other other being the object uh, so game object uh, so other dot game object dot tag equals player so if the player has the tag of player uh, then do this and then probably do else else blank so it does nothing if it doesn't have the tag um, and then it'll do this so you're gonna want to save that and then come back into unity and then click on the trigger this script has it applied to it now click on the FPS controller in the hierarchy uh, up here in the top just underneath where it says FPS controller you'll see tag and it says on tag click there and then there should be a player tag there already and if not just go to add tag and then you can plus one and add tag so go tag then player so that gives the player the tag for player and put that there and now when we play we jump from one platform to another and then when we get here it's going to bring us back to the very beginning and i does the lighting change there because i did notice uh, before when i've done this that the lighting does change but i don't think that applies i think it was actually last year for one of the assignments that we had to do uh, that involved a lot of trigger enters and stuff uh, in actual unity itself it uh, kind of like fucked up the lighting a lot so but in the actual final build it didn't which was kind of weird but um that is pretty much it guys um to reset your scene there is a way to do this where if you uh if you fall if you're do, doing this with terrain where when you fall onto the terrain um it's not the same concept it's more so uh the way i would do that is with the fps controller i would um project a raycast from the bottom of it so going on the minus y axis and then basically when that raycast detects a tag of terrain it will reset the level that way but this is just a basic way to do it and we can cut you off ray cast and stuff in a little bit uh, but right now we're just going to go through the little basic things uh, so that's been it for this tutorial guys this was requested by one of the lads in the course and um, if you like the tutorial please leave a rating and subscribe for more and obviously you can download this script on my website uh, link to that is in the description below and leave a comment on what you'd like me to show you how to do next or uh, what you think i should do next and um, i'll catch you guys later peace